right. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining today's Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, August 24th. On the um, our agenda, we have GSOC update, uh, an update on the top 30 contributor project that we discussed in our last uh, SIG meeting, advocacy and outreach SIG meeting, that is. And then a quick update on DevOps World Tour. Anything else we should add? Okay, good, good. So uh, for GSOC updates, John Mark, uh, what I have here are, so we mentioned about the two projects that's going to be extended beyond the September 4th final evaluation deadline. And I've listed them there with the plug-in health score by Jakruti, which will ex be extended to September 19th. So that means the final evaluation deadline is September 25th. Building Jenkins.io with alternative tools is by Vendi, and that's going to be extended to September 26th with the final evaluation deadline of October 2nd. Did I, I get that correct? Very good. Okay. And the grandmaster of scheduling is, is Chris Stern. Yeah, so, thank you so much for that, Chris. Okay. Um, so, and then for our final Jenkins online meetup demo, we're still going to go forward, forward with September 14th at 1500 UTC. Confirmed. Okay. Great. Um, meeting notes for the, I, I, I just thought in case if anybody's interested in reading that they can also reference to more details about our office hours, the GSOC office hours um, via the link there. Anything else that we need to add, John Mark? No, uh, just for information, we're starting to get some interest for the 2024 uh, edition. I don't hear signals that uh, Google will, would not uh, do that edition, but uh, let's not get the people too much excited and start to interfere. And org admins need also to take some breath uh in between so we give a few hints and we calm people down and that they wait for november yeah. where there will start a 2024 20, season yep and november is going to come by very fast yep i can tell you that all right um so we had talked at the last um, advocacy and outreach SIG meeting about a project that we're working on, which is highlighting 30 uh, contributors that are spending a lot of time and donating their time and efforts to the Jenkins project. And we like to highlight them personally as you know a personal story about them and what inspires them, what motivates them. Um, so I've sent out, um, and inquiry to collect their story. So far, we only have one story received. So I'll probably will have to personally reach out to people. Chris? <laughs> uh, so we'll, I, I'll be doing that because um, our goal is to collect or at least publish a story bi-weekly. Uh, so far, like I, I think I mentioned, I received one story. And Kevin is on top of that. He'll be writing the story or putting it together. Um, and then I also took a poll from the community um, about the page or the title of the web page that we want for these stories. And the winner for that is the contributor spotlight. So we'll be using that for our web page, um, which is. I'm glad that it's consistent with what um, it looks like CDF is doing something similar in their organization and they're calling it continuous spotlight for their, that's how they're highlighting their contributors. So it's working out well. And then lastly for DevOps World Tour, um, I did get a discount from the events team to um, 
uh, for registration. So registration is going to be $120. Mark will be blogging about his session and I will be helping to tweet it. Um, 